Hello viewers, in this module we are going to discuss that is first question of next exercise. In the year 2012, it was estimated that there were 36.4 crore internet users worldwide. In the next 10 years, that number will be increased by 125 percentage. Estimate the number of internet users worldwide in 2022. So here, how many number of internet users worldwide in 2012? So number of internet users, so number of internet users in 2012 that is 36.4 crore. See here you can write in the place of crore. Then the next 10 years. So what is that? How many percent is increased? So percent is increased. Percent is increased in next 10 years in 10 years that will be equal to 125 percentage then estimate the number of internet users after 10 years after 10 years means what is the duration the time will be equal to 10 years 10 years so 125 percentage so number of internet users in one how much percentage so that is 125 percentage of 36.4 of means multiplication so 125 by 100 from percentage we need to convert into value means by 100 you have to do 36.4 so let's take this one we can do with 5 5 to the 10 0 as it is then 5 to the 10 then 5 5 za. then 5 4 za. then 5 5 za. So what you can take here is, you can write like 5 into 36.4 by 4. So 4 ones are 4 nines are point four ones are. That is 9.1 into 5 into 9.1. So what you can write 5 ones are 5 then 5. 45.5. 5. Then this much persons are increased. So how many number of crores it is increased for? 45.5 crores are increasing. Then number of internet users. Therefore, number of internet internet users is equal to what is that? 36.4 plus 45.5. Then what you will get here is 81.9 crores members are there presently throughout worldwide in 2012 so they are given simply the percent is increased so we are calculated value for that we are increased now for that we are added for increasing we need to take addition symbol thanks for watching please subscribe so in this module we are going to discuss second question that is a owner increases the rent of his house by 5 percentage at the end of each year if currently its rent is 2500 rupees per month how much will be the rent after two years so whatever given quantities that one we have to write first so what is the principle the principle will be so what is principle 2500 rupees per month next one how many years house rent will be how much after will be two years that is time given so let's take p will be this one time will be two years you can take time as small n also so rate of interest or percentage will be five percentage so this is the given that when so what is the amount how much that is what is the amount after two years will be amount capital a will be equal to we can take compound interest formula that is p into one plus r by hundred whole power n so here n will be continuously repeating values that is years some number of years or will be rate of interest so p what is the p value so p value will be 2500 into 1 plus r is what 5 by 100 whole power 2 so you can take like this so let's take 2500 into here 1 plus 5 by what is that let's take lcm 100 plus 5 by 100 whole square you can take like that 
So 2500 into 1 out 5, 1 out 5 by 1 out 5 whole square into 100 whole square. So you can take one thing here 2500 into 1 out 5 whole square by so 100 into 100. So here two zeros, two zeros will go into cancel. Then 25 into 1 out 5 whole square by 100. You can do one thing here. What is that is 25. So let's cancel 25 ones are 25 fours are. That is 1 out 5 whole square by 4. So 1 out 5 into 1 out 5 by 4. So 1 out 5 by 4 is 1 out 5 into 1 out 5 by 4 is what? 26 point 25. That is 26 point 25. So 4 ones are 4 twos are 8. Then 2 26 are 4. 4. So 24. Then 1 will be point 25. Then so 1 out 5 into 26 point 25 will be. 26.25 into 1 out 5 will be 2756 2756.25 so this is the case so that is how much amount after 2 years you can solve like this or another method is first year how much 5 percentage from 2500 again from the taken again we can do Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hello viewers. In this module, we are going to discuss that is third question. On Monday, the value of company shares was 7.5 rupees. So that is on Monday, Monday share value. So share value will be equal to 7.50 rupees. The price increased by 6% on Tuesday. So Tuesday price increased by 6 percentage. 6 percentage increased. That means we have to calculate 6 percentage of 7.50 and add to the uh, 7.50. So 6 percentage of 7.50 of 7.50 that is 6 by 100 into 7.50. So what it will be? 7.50 by 100 what is that is 0. Point, so 6 into what you can take here 0 0.075 so if you take two zeros means we can move two places from this plus 0 0.075 that will be so 0. 0.6 into 0. 0.075 will be equal to 0. Point Four, five. So we need to add 0 0.45 on Tuesday share value. So share value will be equal to 7.50 plus 0 0.45 that is 7.95. So that is Tuesday share value. Then what is our next one is on Wednesday Next, and 1.50 decreased by 1.50 on Wednesday. So, Wednesday, 1.5 percentage decreased. That is, we need to subtract from that. 1.5 percentage of, from this value, we have to subtract 7.95. That is, 1.5 by 100 into 7.95. That is, 1.5 into 7.95 will be equal to 11.925 by 100 then what you'll get 0 0.2 places from right side we have to go 0 0.11925 so subtract from this what is the share value so share value will be equal to decreasing right for the subtraction 7.95 minus 0 0.11925 that will be equal to 7.95 minus 0 0.11925 so what you will get 7.830 like that we will get and next one 
decreased by 2 percentage on Thursday. So decreased by 2 percentage on Thursday. So what is the share value on Wednesday? 7.830. So share value will be equal to 7.830 watt. So on Thursday, Thursday it is decreased by 2 percentage. So Thursday decreased by 2 percentage that is 2 percentage of 7.83 you can take like that that will be 2 by 100 into 7.8 so you can take like this 7.83 into 2 will be equal to 15.66 by 100 then here this point will move from right to left two places why because here two zeros is there 0 0.1566 then so decreasing means we need to subtract from this so share value share value on thursday 7.830 minus 0 0.1566 that will be 7.830 minus 0 0.1566 that is 7.6734 so what you can see on friday so friday opening day so what they are asked here is so find the value of each share when trade opened on friday so friday share value share value friday open so if you open on friday share value will be equal to 7.67 Three, four. That is our answer. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. So in this model, we are going to discuss that is fourth question. With most of the Zarax machines, you can reduce by enlarge your original by entering a percentage for a copy. Reshma wanted to enlarge a 2 cm by 4 cm drawing. She said that Zarax machine for 150 percentage and copied her drawing. So what will be the dimensions of the copy of the drawing be? So what they are asking here is they are given one drawing sheet that is 2 cm length and 4 cm breadth. So this one is enlarged. Enlarging means so copying Reshma wanted to enlarge. So what is that meaning? Enlarge means enlarging means increasing size. So increasing size. So we need to increase this size into 150 percentage increased. So let's take 150 percentage is increased means length. So that is drawing length, actual drawing length will be equal to 150 percentage of original length. So new length of drawing will be equal to 150 percentage of original length. So what is length will be? 150 percentage of 2 so that will be 150 by 100 if you want to convert from percentage to value we have to divide with 100 as we done from value to percentage into 100 reverse to that so 2 ones are 2 5 is a 10 then 0 then 5 ones are then 5 3 is a 15 0 0 will be cancelled so here 0 here 0 will going to cancel that will be equal to 3 cm. So we got 3 cm. Then new breadth will be. So new breadth will be equal to. New breadth will be equal to. 150 percentage of breadth. That will be equal to. 150 percentage of breadth. If old breadth is what? Into 4. So if you want to convert from percentage to actual value what we have to do is 150 by 100 into 4 so 4 ones are 4 twos are 8 then 4 fives are 20 then what you can do 5 fives are 25 then 5 30 is up so 30 by 5 so 5 ones are 5 six are 30 that is 6 centimeter then what you can say finally the drawing new dimensions so drawing dimensions will be Therefore, new drawing, new copy of drawing, new copy of 
drawing dimensions will be length by breadth that is 3 cm by 6 cm. So that is the new dimensions. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. So in this module, we are going to discuss that is fifth question. The printed price of a book is one fifty rupees, and discount is fifteen percent. Find the actual amount to be paid. So what is the actual amount will be? So actual amount will be equal to what is that? Original price that is original price minus discounted amount that is discount value. So discount value. So what is the discount value here? Discount value will be so 15 percentage they are given. So discount will be 15 percentage. 15 percentage of original price that is 15 percentage of original price that will be equal to 15 by 100 into 150. So then what you can take here see 5 to the 10 then 0, then 5 3 za, then 0, then 5 4 za, then 5 6 za. So what you can take here is 15 into 6 by 4. So what you will get? So 15 6 za, 90 by 4. Then 4 1 za, 4 2 za, 8, 10 will be, then 4 2 za, 8, then again 2 will be point four. 5 is 20 that is 22.5 so original actual amount will be equal to so actual amount will be equal to original price is 150 then discounted value will be 22.5 then what you will get here is so 150 minus 22.5 that is 127.5 rupees so 127.5 rupees so thanks for watching please subscribe